Good job. Is it going? You gotta keep twisting it. Yeah, it, it is. Great job. I got my little helper, D'Angelo, here with me today. Are you using the vajetti? Yeah. To make... Zucchini noodles? Yeah. Cool. We're gonna use this in our meatball recipe. Hey, honeys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Lindsay. And it's your boy, D'Angelo. And today, you guys, we are going to be making a keto parmesan meatball casserole. And I already had D'Angelo make these beautiful zucchini noodles for me in my vegetti. Love this thing. I've had it for like the past probably five years or so. Anyways, guys, let's get right into this video. I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need for this recipe. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So what you're going to need for this recipe is two things of ground turkey. Now you can do a family pack. I just picked up these two 16 ounce um, ground turkey and I'm doing the 93 lean 7% fat. You can do whatever you prefer. And then I picked up one 16 ounce of the Italian sausage and I am using hot. That's just what I prefer, but you can just use plain Italian sausage. For the cheeses, you're gonna need some mozzarella, some Parmesan, and the Italian style cheese. Like I picked these up at Walmart, they're the great value brand. The Italian style cheese has different cheeses in it, like the provolone and all that, so I really like this in this casserole. Um, for the seasonings, you're going to need chopped onion, basil, Italian seasoning, parsley, and Himalayan salt. And you're also going to need a little bit of minced garlic, only about a teaspoon. Um, for sauce, I'm using this Great Value Pizza Sauce. It's my favorite. I always talk about it in all my recipes that I do use it um, when I need sauce. Um, and these are the macros on it. It's very, very good um, for the amount that you're gonna you know, eat in one serving. You're gonna need one egg. And I'm gonna spray my casserole dish down with a little bit of avocado oil. You can use whatever you prefer, but I just spray it down just a little bit. Um, and then you're going to need a bowl because you're going to be mixing your meats and your zucchini and cheese and seasonings and egg all together and making meatballs. So let's get right into that process. All right guys, so I got my bowl. And the first thing that I'm going to do Start opening up my meat and I'm going to be putting my two packs of ground turkey and my Italian sausage in the bowl. Like I said, you can get like a family size. Um, usually I do buy the family size, but I just picked two of these up and this works as well. If you're making more, you just double the amount of meat. And with the zucchini, you're only gonna need one zucchini unless you do double the amount of meat, then you can do two, but this makes a lot of zucchini noodles, which you're going to need for this recipe. So next, I'm gonna add the Italian sausage into the bowl. So all your meats. Next, you're gonna add one egg. And then you're going to start adding your garlic and seasoning. So I'm going to do a teaspoon of this garlic. Okay guys, you're going to start pouring, get your meat in there, then you're going to put your garlic and then you're going to start adding your seasonings. So I'm doing some parsley. Italian seasoning, 
Don't be shy with the seasonings. Some basil. And some chopped onion. Okay, no, no playing around, please. Go sit down, your, your things are gonna be up right now. He's waiting on his food, it's in the oven. And some Himalayan salt. So I got my seasonings. Now I'm going to add the zucchini noodles to the bowl. D'Angelo, your food will be ready in just a second. Once that's added, you're gonna add some Parmesan, just a little bit, some mozzarella. And this is a really quick recipe, very simple. If you already have your oven preheated, you pretty much just prep this real quick, put everything in the bowl. And I just add a little bit of the mozzarella because at the end, you're gonna add cheese and sauce after you cook your meatballs up a little bit. But I do like to add cheese to my meat mixture and the zucchini and all that because you're gonna mix it really well. And this is a little bit of the Italian seasoning or Italian style cheese, sorry. You guys, it's been a very long day today. I've been running around like crazy. Plus I'm doing insanity. So it's been crazy busy. But what you're gonna do next is you're just gonna grab the meat and the seasonings. And you're just going to mash that all in together. So you can eventually form, you want that egg and everything all mixed in. And then you're going to be forming meatballs. Before you form your meatballs, make sure you spray your casserole dish because you'll be putting the meatballs right into the casserole dish. So just grab all that meat. So I'm spraying my casserole dish, not too much because the meatballs will actually have fat. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm just making sure that zucchini, the egg, the seasonings, and the sausage and ground turkey is completely mixed in together. And you're gonna start forming your meatballs. Now you want them medium, not too big, not too small. Perfect. Add them to the casserole dish. And continue the process until your casserole dish is such a delicious recipe, especially like for meal prep or family dinner, even as a good little, another good recipe to bring to a party or something. low carb friendly so I'm probably gonna need two casserole dishes because this looks like 
which is good because then I'll have leftovers and this recipe is also very easy and um, you can freeze this and eat it for later so like I said it's really good for like meal prep something to pull out of the freezer and heat up um, I'm personally not big on uh, like leftovers that's just me but my husband loves when I make big batches of something and I freeze it um, and he can take it for lunch and just heat it up continue to repeat this process guys until you're all done Right, honey so the meatballs are beautifully placed in the casserole dish they're ready to go I did add some extra seasonings on the top um, of my meatballs um, like I said make sure you spray the bottom of your pan just a little bit um, I used avocado oil you can use um, olive oil spray whatever you have on hand will work um, these are going in at 400 degrees for 30 minutes until the meat is cooked all the way once the meatballs are done cooking. You're gonna take them out and drain the fat, any extra fat that's in the casserole dish. And then you're just gonna add sauce and add the three cheeses back in the casserole dish. And you're gonna put it back in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Super easy, super delicious. Now let's put these bad boys in the oven and get them cooking and we'll be right back. Hey guys, so I just took the meatballs out of the oven and as you can see, all this fat is in there so I'm just gonna drain the fat out of the meatballs and I'm gonna add the sauce and cheese. Okay guys, time to add the sauce. So I'm just gonna pour the sauce right on top. I'm using the whole jar and it is a 23.9 ounce family size jar of sauce. Next, I'm going to add some Italian cheese definitely want this to be cheesy so i layer the top and these um bags are two cup eight ounce bags next add some mozzarella And I'm just gonna use a half of a bag of mozzarella. Do it as much cheese as you prefer. And then some Parmesan to top it off. Look how good that looks. And then on top, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. Put it back in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. The meatball casserole just got out of the oven and I'm about to serve myself a plate. I have not ate since earlier, look at this. Can we just like, oh my goodness, yum. So good guys. The cheesier, the better.
Okay guys, so my food is plated. Now you can serve this with a side salad. I usually like it with like a side Caesar. I actually have a bag of Caesar pre-made salad in there, but I didn't feel like putting that together tonight. Um, it's already past my dinner time, but I wanted to make this video um, because I wanted some more food videos out for you guys, but let's take a bite. This looks so good. And it has the zucchini and the meatballs and everything. So delicious. Gotta take my famous bite. Mm. Oh my gosh. The Italian sausage with the ground turkey. You could do this with ground beef as well. I prefer ground turkey. So much flavor. The meatballs turn out absolutely amazing. With the cheeses, oh. Mm. This is better than lasagna, spaghetti, all that. Just definitely hits the spot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys try this recipe out. If you do, let me know. Tag me on Instagram at healthyfood.me. Let me know what y'all think. Um, this recipe is so good. Um, I'm sure there's a million different ways to make something like this. But um, love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.